I'm come from Tianjin Univers uh, Tianjin University. Today, I'm excited to present our research work, graph constructive learning via interventional view generation. This collaboration involved was made possible through the partnership with our uh, esteemed colleague Ling Lu from PSU. A uh, graph neural network have captured widespread attention for their establishing ability to model graph drug data, impacting social network, traffic network, uh, circulation network, and so, and so on. As graph and supervised learning research advance, techniques like graph contrastive learning have uh, images as promised self-supervised learning methods, showcasing their potential in addressing diverse downstream tasks, but there are still some problems need to be solved. Uh, how is GCL effect on graphs, especially in heat of the graph? Uh, some of the key changes include traditional GCL framework main work on graph formed under the homophily effect. Uh, ignore the existence of a heterophilic edges. GCL on a mixture of a homophilic and heterophilic edges. The generated representation thus indistinguishable across the uh, different classes in embedding space, exciting the solution. An uh, estimate heterophilic edge will know the similarity, all edge similarity, which could lead to suboptimal performance without principal guidance. Uh, our article contributes in the following way. We propose the principal uh, uh, solution to distinguish homophily and heterophily uh, from the concept perspective, which can guidance homophilic and heterophilic view generation, uh, view intervention. Uh, we integrate the interventional view generation and the distinct view filters in normal contrastive learning pipeline without a complicated model structure or learning framework design. We demonstrate the improvements by the proposed method and the effectiveness of each design on multi uh, data sets or benchmark. Uh, we conduct a primary analysis on a heterophilic graph to showcase how GCL can be tailored to adapt homophily. In analysis, we consider four GCL variants. A uh, Grace, uh, which is a vanilla GCL method that generates a random augmented view and uh, uses the same low pass GCL, GCL encoder. B, HLCL, which generates a random augmented view, uh, but uses a low pass and a high pass filter to encode the two views separately. C, with, which first spreads a homophilic view and a heterophilic view based on node level Supervision, both the view are encoded via SGC low pass filter. Uh, D, which spreads the view in a similarity way, but adopts different filters, a low pass encoder for the homophilic view and a high pass one for the heterophilic view. Uh, in Fig 1E, we quantity measure the class twin performance. A good class twin should be higher uh, in the class twin similarity and uh, through as a uh, uh, coefficient with the low uh, interclass class tree similarity. Thus, the best class tree should locate the bottom right of E with a dark color. We observed uh, important and interesting results in pre-experiments across the data sets, both the separation of uh, homophilic and heterophilic edges. And, uh, Use the specialized low and high, high pass filter as solution that enhance the effectiveness of the GCL. Uh, okay, building on this uh, insight, we introduce a normal GCL framework uh, leverage interventional view generation. Uh, in uh, this innovative uh, approach, in, involve uh, generating both uh, homophilic and heterophilic view through the country factor intervention allow us to distinguish and align the structure within orig original graph by capturing this distinct information from the homophilic and heterophilic edges spreadly use the specialized 
filter in constructive learning process. Uh, let's look at the one first uh, the design of our model, interventional view generation. Uh, in our causal model, given all the uh, contest and the treatments, we observe the factual outcome. Uh, to successful distangle the homophily and heterophily pattern from the orange, original graph, uh, we pro, pro, provide the following contributional steps. Uh, first, uh, we de define the variable, uh, context information, factual outcome, and control factor outcomes, treatments, and uh, control factor treatments. Uh, then, given a set of uh, observed node pairs, we aim to find uh, the nearest neighborhoods uh, with uh, offset treatments and regarding them, uh, control factor node pairs. We provide, provide a special formula for finding them. Uh, okay. Next, uh, we use the causal model and the MLP to generate a homophilic view and a heterophilic view. Finally, we aim to optimize the view generator via two objectives. Accurate node pair prediction on observed outcome and accurate prediction on extended, extended control factor outcome, which can be divided the follow cross intertriple loss. In practice, we recognize the homophilic and heterophilic probability by making their summation for each one node uh, to be one. Uh, the final objective for optimize the view generator uh, is given by. Uh, let's look at the another design of our model. Dual graph encoder. Uh, the generated homophily and heterophily view require tailored graph filter to capture their distinct pattern. Uh, therefore, for the homophily uh, view, unite the low pass graph filter in SGC to smooth the node representation. For the heterophily view, employ, employ high pass filter to divorce the node representation. Uh, follow the common practice in GCL uh, to employ uh, influencing contrastive loss for optimize the dual encoder, uh, low pass and high pass. Uh, let's uh, focus the experiments. First, uh, we present uh, results of downstream tests regarding node, classif node classification and node class tree. Performance on heterophilic graph significant outperformance the baseline and remain competitive on the homophilic graph. Uh, traditional uh, GCL method uh, continues smooth the representation along the heterophilic graph. Uh, reading the rep representation is indistinguishable. This is the reason. Uh, distangle the homophily and heterophily information in the graph and sharpen the representation of heterophily edges through the high pass graph filter. Uh, as the evolution study, uh, segregating homophily and heterophily information from the ordinal graph resulting in the sustainable performance enhancements. Uh, the contrastive learning model, uh, loss have uh, more prolonged in, impact on the overall loss. The most, uh, uh approach, uh, emergency from the evolution, uh, of both the perspective capture the essential insights from the various potential important. Uh, we can showcase the graph edge homophilic score. The homophilic score of the generative view is habit significant the large homophilic score um, across the all data with the prolonged effects on the heterophilic graph. The homophilic score 
of the generative hydraulic view are most lower than they are original graph conforming the new generated rule is expressing the homophilic and heterophilic pattern. Uh, to include, uh, our primary focus lie on the design of a graph contrastive learning framework to net GCLIVG. This framework is happy as the capture of the accommodates the various degree of homophily and heterophily within the uh, network structure. Uh, by my um, patting the treatment factor, we generate the interventional homophily and heterophily view from the original graph. Uh, we similar uh, integrate the process of interventional view generation with the single view filter and uh, within a uh, Conditional contrastive learning pipeline and its extensive array of experiments ha, has been conducted as you case the outstanding effective and uh, adaptive, uh, adaptability of our method. Uh, that's all. Thank you.